Hey guys and welcome back to another video, hope you are okay on that side of the screen and today with a setup which is really awesome. I've got the Asus Dash F15 version 2021 which is a awesome laptop. Also I've got here the Akitu Note Pro with a RTX 3070 Ti from KFA2 and on my tests I also used the AOC gaming display which is awesome with 244 hertz and soon i will share the review here on the channel now i've been using this external gpu with my mac mini for the last two years or so and using a amd 5600 xt because on mac os we will have to use amd so far we don't know about tomorrow but with the socks from apple probably this is a setup that will tend to disappear first of all let's talk about the installation of an external GPU which is really easy we need a external uh, enclosure and by the way I will leave links down below for everything that I'm using so that you can check out prices specifications and so on and so forth but in this particular case the Akitu Note Pro and then of course we will need a GPU it doesn't matter if we use Nvidia or AMD depends on your preference and depends on your needs and the way that it will connect to the computer is through a cable a Thunderbolt 3 cable in this particular case the Asus Dash F15 has a Thunderbolt 4 connection but in here we have a Thunderbolt 3 uh, bandwidth which means 40 gigabits of bandwidth and then we can also add the display the external display which in this particular case is the AOC connected directly to the external GPU so that we can have a flow of data in just one side once we grab our laptop and arrive home all we need to do is to connect one cable and that is it we have the GPU working and we can use the laptop display which is not the ideal but we can do so the idea is that we can grab our laptop just disconnect the cable go to work play around with it when we get back we have a playing game works as i said i've been using on my mac mini with great results on final cut pro 10 uh, premiere and even in some games and on my mac book pro uh, the results are sim because they are machines that don't have any dedicated uh, graphic they only have the integrated GPU which is really weak compared to any of these GPUs that is not the case of the Asus Dash F15 which has a 3060 in this particular case the laptop version now before I show you my results what I will share with you is the answer to the question is it worth it to get a external GPU for this particular laptop and the answer is no in my opinion but it's no and the answer as simple as possible is that for a laptop that doesn't have any dedicated gpu like my macbook pro or the mac mini then it will make total sense to take advantage of external gpu because the integrated graphics are just not enough and if we connect external gpu then you will have a bump up in graphics which is just awesome you will be able to play games that otherwise you just couldn't but in the case of the Dash F15 with the RTX 3060, that's not the case because the gains that we are going to see are none and in some times we will get worse results with the external GPU. And by the way, I did test out with the RTX 3070 Ti, 3080 and also a 3060 Ti just to see if everything was working. And by the end of the video, I will leave you a little bit more details but the, these are the most important facts now in terms of benchmarks let me just share that i did three kinds of tests i did test out the laptop by its own i did test out the laptop with the external gpu so we have the workflow of the thunderbolt cable with data flow in both uh, directions so the 40 gigabit bandwidth will get smaller and smaller and then finally also the test out with the external display now in terms of the superposition i did start with that benchmark which gave me some interesting results with the RTX 3060 of the laptop we got 9000 score and then when we did connect the 3070 Ti we got 16441 which is just awesome and I thought okay so we will get some great results even when having a dedicated GPU on the laptop great now let's connect external monitor I did connect the external monitor and the result was 16 thousand eight hundred and something and I thought okay so probably something wrong I did repeat the test several times and always with the same result more or less the same result 
And then I did went to Geekbench 5 using the Compute Benchmark OpenCL. We got on the 3060, 93,000. On the 3070 Ti, 131,000. And then connecting the external display, 103,000. And I thought, okay, so we are having a lower result when I do connect the external display, which doesn't make any sense. Now, after this, I did a lot of tests. I did spend almost two days testing out a lot of scenarios, different GPUs and so on and so forth, and the results were mostly the same. And those are, in terms of gaming, the frames per second that we will get on games will be more or less the same on the RTX 3060 that we have on the laptop, and also more or less the same on the 3070 Ti, or even the 30. 80. The only exceptions that we can see are on benchmark and also on video editing we will be able to take advantage of a beefier GPU, although that the work that the 3060 right over here does, I wouldn't justify um, the investment that we have to do here just for video editing. Edit. Now, I also thought that, okay, probably one or two games that are not optimized for external GPUs, let's try more games. I did test out with Watch Dogs Legion, Forza Horizon 5, Far Cry 6, Battlefield 2042, and I have to check out here on my desktop, but also Apex Legends, The Witcher 3, Tomb Raider, and Cyberpunk 2077. So these were the games that I did test out and, and also Fortnite, I did test out Fortnite as by some reason could have different results, but no, everything was more or less the same. And the results are not bad if you get roughly 80 frames per second on the 3060, uh, right? you will get roughly 80 frames per second on 3070 Ti, which is awesome but it's only awesome if you don't have already a great gpu right over here which is the case of some laptops but in this particular case with the 3060 i can't justify now do i have some questions yes i do and i did and i still have and probably some of you guys might help but i will share more information of what i did because the benchmarks told me one story and then the games told me another story now what i did first of all was after a few results okay i'm going to remove all the drivers so i used ddu and i removed everything that we had geforce experience the drivers from the laptop the, the drivers from the external gpu i removed everything that i could and i did install only the drivers so no geforce experience nothing at all so that we could test out and rule out if it was a software issue results were the same i also did something which was to disable completely the laptop display and using only the external display results were the same i even disabled the internal gpu the integrated gpu i disabled the 3060 gpu that comes with the laptop and leaving only the 3070 ti enabled and only the 3080 and even the 3060 ti which i did test out just to rule a few things out and the results were the same. So after doing all this, my conclusion is just one, and it's not a scientific conclusion, which is we have a few bottlenecks here. One of which is the cable, and that's totally fine. We already knew that. But the other bottleneck, I do believe that are the games itself that cannot take advantage at this moment of a external GPU like the benchmarks can because on the benchmarks we will see the gpu getting taxed out and giving great results but when we go to games first of all we will see sometimes the the gpu getting taxed out but sometimes looks like the gpu is a bit on the relaxing side of things so in conclusion guys in my opinion there are only a few ways that we can go if you are looking for a laptop and you want to purchase something like the Asus laptop with the 3060, you will have a machine here that will allow you to play a lot of games. And if you wait for a few days and subscribe to the channel, you will have the full review that will show you exactly that. If you want something beefier, then you have a model superior, which instead of the 3060 will bring the 3070. On the other hand, if you are looking to a model of a computer that doesn't have any dedicated GPU, only as the integrated GPU, then if it has a Thunderbolt 3 or Thunderbolt 4 port, in that particular situation, it will make sense to get an external 
GPU. In my particular case, it does. I use this, as I said at the beginning, with the Mac Mini and a GPU that makes a lot of difference compared to the integrated graphics that the computer has. And that being said, hope that this video was helpful in some way. And if it was, don't forget the usual thumbs up right over there. My name is Roberto George, and as always, I'll see you guys on the next one.